Hello friends, so hope you are doing well. In this video, we will be learning how to write, how to create a form via HTML coding. So for every business requires data about the customer's users in order to provide them product and services. And forms are a mean of gathering information for the users. So in the next slides, we will be learning about the tags and the attributes which we will use for creating a form. So first of all, we need to create a form using form tag that is a container tag which means it will have an opening as well as closing tag the tags which are associated with form tag are input tag text area select an option so what is text area tag so when we have to gather text inputs which is larger in size then we use text area tag and which is also a container tag so it requires closing as well as opening tag so for the select an option tag, when we have to create a drop down list to provide choices to the customer, we use select an option tag. First, we will open the select tag and write the different options we have to give to the customers and then we'll close select tag also. So for the input tag, there are different attribute values to it and how we're going to use is uh, it will be more clear if we'll solve a uh, question related to this form. So if we have to create a text form in a text thing in a form, so we'll write input type is equals to text. Radio is for the bullet points. If we have to create some bullet points in the form, we'll write input type is equals to radio. If we have to create some checkboxes, then we'll write input type is equals to checkbox. Like at the end of the form, there will be a submit or reset button. So we'll create that submit and re uh, reset button by input type is equals to submit and reset. And all these uh, text radio check boss which text should be in inverted commas for the password we're gonna uh, create password tag for the file if we have to upload a file in a form like a resume or a cv then we're gonna uh, type input type is equals to file for the number number date time so we'll solve the question of a form and it will be more clear to you guys so this is the question which we're gonna solve today in this video so here are the things uh, first is the heading of the form online order form and then horizontal lines are being provided here then the line and first name last name address city state pen this is the checkbox and again a sentence this is a text area and here how would you like to pay for this uh, we'll provide different options to the customer and this is the submit and reset button so one by one we're gonna learn how to create this so basic thing is doc type then html Head contains title, uh, the title which I had given to this form is forms and then title close, head tag close. And now we'll open our body tag. As told already that to create a form, we need to open the form tag first. And I, I had show you, showed you in the question that uh, the heading will be in H1 form and the heading is online order form. Okay, online order form then we close our heading tag and in the question it is provided with a horizontal line we're going to provide a horizontal line for this and then uh, we have to start making this so i'll uh, create a paragraph tag first so i'll open p tag that stands for paragraph tag and i'll write the sentence which is given please Please enter your name and address for billing for purpose. Okay. So I had already saved this file. So like for every time I'll show you what are the results for this. So here, uh, the online order form, then horizontal line, and please enter your full name and address for the billing purpose. So uh, in the question now, we're going to provide this first name, last name, and the text area boxes. So type first name, and then we're going to use our input tag, input type is equals to, the first name will be in text form, the input tag will be text and we're gonna close this okay and then uh, also uh, we will provide like a uh, size of the text 
that should be size should be 20 these things will be provided in the question itself and max length means the maximum rt bit which you can uh, the uh, maximum letters which you can write in a in this form will be 15 letters i am providing with the 15 letter box so max length will be 15 now same with the last name we'll type last name and open our input tag input type is equals to again this will be text and again i'm going to provide the size with the equals to 20 and the max length should be max length gonna be like eight or something close it i will save this once and we'll see the result push this and these are the so see the difference is uh it's coming in a line only it's not coming like this so what we have to do is we have to break the line so for breaking the line we use the tag br so twice because we need more difference now again save this and go back to our question results so yeah done now we have to provide with the address city state and pen so we'll repeat the same thing write address and then provide input type input type is equals to text close this for the state i'm going to provide the size also for this oh max length will be 20 now state state input type will be again text close this now what we're gonna do is okay so we have to create city also input type equals to text size 15 close this and then we're gonna provide for the pins to here we have to change the input type that will be of number because pins will be in number so we're gonna write number here okay let's save the file and we'll see the results again we didn't break the line here so we're gonna have to break the line after last name we have to break lines okay now in the question we have to provide horizontal line we're gonna close our p tag And have to provide a horizontal line then and then we have to create a checkbox and we have to write check if shipping address is different from the mailing address so how to create a checkbox already told you that input type is equals to checkbox inverted commas and closed what we're gonna have to write is check if shipping 
address is different from mailing address okay control plus set and here we have to provide with the hr line also horizontal line okay control plus l r we have to see the results too it's done now now again what we have to do is we have to uh, create this text area box so for this we'll simply write text area and the text which we have to provide and also we have to specify the text area the calls will be of 50 and ron i'm providing here the three and what we have to write in the text area is check if check if you uh, enter enter shipping address here different from above we'll close our text area we'll save this find once and check out the results okay so done with this also now we have to create this please enter the codes for the projects which you want again we're gonna and HR for the horizontal line and then we have to create we have to write a line that is please enter the code of the product you wish to purchase and here we have to enter the code that means input type will be of number okay again we have to provide with the horizontal line let's save this one and check out the results Now what we are left with is to provide these last three things. How would you like to pay for this? And we have to give options here. So I'm opening my paragraph tag here. And the question is, how would you like to pay for this? question mark and here we have to create options then we will open our select tag and write the different options which we have to provide that is first mastercard option 2 is visa option 3 is discover Option 4 that we are providing is American Express. Okay. And then we'll close our select tag. And we have to provide with please enter. card number semicolon and the input type will be number is equals to 
number then we will close this we have to provide horizontal line after this and then we have to write these take care that everything is out correctly then click click submit order okay so let's save this and check out the results see there are different options are available that we can choose okay and submit order what we are left with is the submit and reset button so what we gonna do is we'll open our paragraph tag because the alignment is left so we have to provide the alignment is equals to left and same if the alignment is right we're gonna write it as right and for the center we're gonna write it as center and then the inputs which I told you earlier input type sorry input type is equals to submit sorry is equals to submit close and then again input type Set, close and then we'll close our P alignment here we'll close our form we'll close our body tag and finally we'll close our HTML tag okay now save see the results so yeah, we are done with this question. The same, we were asked to prepare this form and we had prepared the same. Uh, I already told you how to save a file of HTML, but let's once again see this. Go to the file, I'm gonna save as on my desktop. We have to save the file as like file name I'm providing forms with an extension called .html. And we have to change save as type as all files and then save. Yeah. So this is all for this video. Hope the form topic is very much clear to you guys. Please practice. Thank you.